Hey there, this little short video is just to show you a technique for binocular balance. And this might be something that you find a little bit easier to put into practice yourself and your patient should find a little bit easier as well. As for a video which I've done on astigmatic corrections, the key message here is to give your patients a difference to see. To make it simple for them by showing them a difference. And with this binocular balance, what we're going to do is see if we're balanced within plus 025 by giving the patient a difference to see. So here is our dummy extremely tall patient that we've tested. Their refraction is plus 150 minus 050 by 90 in each eye. So it's a very simple refraction. Now what we're going to do is first of all this patient has to have the same acuity in each eye. And what we're going to do is presume that they have 66 or 2020 vision or slightly better in each eye and we're going to put them on the 66 or 2020 line. Now other binocular balance techniques might ask you to blur the patient by plus 050 and then ask them to find a difference between something where there may not be a difference. You've worked your butt off on this refraction and there might not actually be a difference between the eyes. So let's give them a difference to see. We're going to put them on the 66 or the 2020 line and we're going to give them a difference to see. Firstly we're going to put plus 025 in front of this right eye. So with plus 025 in front of this right eye, which eye do you think is clearer, Mr. Invisible Patient? Your right eye or your left eye? Right eye or left eye? Which is clearer, right or left? Now presumably they say their left eye. If that's the case, take out that plus 025 and let's see if plus 025 added to the left eye makes them prefer their right eye. Which do you prefer, right eye or left? Which is clearer, right or left? And if they say your right eye, you take out the last 025 and the job's done. You can now ask them which is clearer, right eye or left eye, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't actually matter at this point because we know that when we added plus 025 to the right eye, it made them prefer the left. And when we added plus 025 to the left, it made them prefer the right. Now, what if that doesn't quite go to plan? The way to manage that is to keep adding plus until you make them prefer the other eye. Take that last step out and then balance the other eye. So let's go through that. Let's pretend we've added plus 025 to Mr. Invisible's right eye and he says, no, no, they're pretty similar. Or maybe he says he still prefers his right eye. Give him another plus 025. Which do you prefer, Mr. Invisible? No, still not sure. Maybe my right eye. Give him a bit more plus. Which do you prefer now? Okay, that's enough. He prefers his left. Just take out that last step of plus 025. And now we need to do the same thing with the left eye. So, which do you prefer, right eye or left eye? He goes, hmm, they're similar, or maybe left. Add plus 025. Which do you prefer? Now I prefer my right. Okay, take that last one out and just check again. Which do you prefer now? Plus 025 in front of the right, left eye. And then we take that last one out and we're balanced. This is a really good way to get extra plus out of people, um, particularly presbyopes. Obviously, these are a little bit more pitched towards myopia and um, subjective refractions for myopic kids is something that can be quite difficult, so that's a, a bit of an extra story on top of that. But if you are doing a lot of subjective refractions with kids and with young myopes, this can be a really useful tool to try and make sure, first of all, that you have an over minus one eye, and secondly, that you're getting to that, ideally, that maximum plus for them. So give it a go, let me know what you think, and hopefully you find that helpful.